Hey, we're back. We're back. It's a sad time because Sam just died. Uh, and, um, you know, it's Sam was our, our founder, Sam, Samuel, Samuel, Sam Adams, our founder and farmer dead, dead by a bullet to the brain, by a barkeep. We could have hired that guy. Owl's now alive. That's great. Uh, Owl, unfortunately, no matter what you're good at, your new job is to be a farmer because uh, our farmer's dead. It turns out you're you're all right at those, so it should be fine. Oh, Sam, what a tragedy! I'm I'm so sad. What a tragedy! Oh man, poor poor Sam, poor Sam. So anyway, Sam's dead, and uh, that's not good. Hopefully, we can get this um, this uh, corpse hole built for him, and we'll get uh, this short bow for Owl. Oh, Sam. The hammer is building it. That's an interesting choice, but sure. Oh, wait, no, he's our constructor. It's fine. It's fine. All right, somebody bury Sam. It should be It should be you, the hammer. It should be you. All right, and Door Woman has malaria. Uh, and uh, right now, uh, malaria way outweighing the immunity, and we're fucked. We're, Door Woman's going to die, too. I'm playing on a slightly easier level too. It's just, it's just this fucking game. I'm so, so, so hurting on the inside and the outside. Death by war. This sarcophagus bears an illustration of a town. The scene takes place inside an encampment built near a lake. The cell shaded style of the central scene clashes with the figurative depiction of the background. Oh, Sam. Oh, poor Sam. Woe is me. Mr. Frodo! Mr. Frodo, where's Laura San Giacomo? It's a good question, Sam. It's a good question. Rip Sam. Ah. Oh. Oh, that was bullshit. One shot? He didn't even die of infection like they usually do. Just one shot. Bam. Dead. In the brain. While that guy had already been hit, that guy had been hit by, like, multiple arrows already, right? Like, he was hit by... That's the actual kill. Hit in the liver, uh, hit, hit, punched, and hit in the heart. He was in that. He was hit in the heart, and he still managed to pull off, pull off a murder. You don't care. I don't particularly care much for Sam. What the fuck, King Horse? How dare you? How very dare you? Samuel Sam Adams, the founder of the Acme Brew Pub, Beer Garden, and Event Space died in combat uh combat which wouldn't have happened if we hadn't accepted everett uh, who who has a recurve bow for some reason even though he's definitely not supposed to he's supposed to have a rifle. oh no door woman picked up the rifle man oh i got double spammed at the same time guys i got two people at the same time ah oh. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass to report this. If you got a mod, I guess it is, but like, um, s I think this is a bot account. Next, selling followers, submit report, block, close. All right, next one. Twitch, you're Twitch. You're the worst. All right, click on this one. Report. Uh, spam. Next. Bot next selling selling followers. Uh, this must work, otherwise there wouldn't be bots that do it, right? So there must be people who are sitting here streaming, and then they get these messages saying, "Hey, you want to buy followers?" And they're like, "Fuck yeah, I want to buy followers." Here's my fucking parents' credit card. 
And then they give them the information and they buy followers and that's why they're big on Twitch. Turns out that's how it works. Uh, how to get big on Twitch by followers. Is that? I don't think that's right. I'll probably get in trouble for saying that too. Gonna get banned. God, of all the things I could get banned for, like lusting after Laura San Giacomo or Tom Selleck or Al Rickman, who also has a mustache. Those will get me banned too, but you know. I mean. I'm thinking about becoming a Quigley Down Under theme streamer in general. So, I mean, that would work on Twitch, right? People people know what Quigley Down Under is and would definitely appreciate a stream that was dedicated just to Quigley Down Under, which isn't a game. We would just talk about it all the time. It would just be, Tom, there would be a Tom Selleck Tuesday. There would be um, Alan Rickman Wednesday. Sure. Uh, Laura Cian Giacomo, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Right? I mean, because Laura Cian San Giacomo. All right, so this, this raid, uh, if we avoid this, oh, of course, this one's only got a club. He's like, he's like 50 Cent. He's, he's only got a club. That's what that song's about, right? Oh, man. I'm so sad that Sam died that way. Good shot. I mean, bad shot, but good shot. Okay. Got him twice. Name's Chetta. Dead. Detta. Should have been called Detta. So, yeah. Laura San Giacomo Mondays, Thursday, Friday. Tuesday is Tom Selleck Tuesday, obviously. And Wednesday is Alan Rickman Wednesday. That rhymes, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean... And then every every week the stream will be, you know. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Quigley Down Under cast, uh, where we talk about Quigley Down Under all the time. Oh, here's the third one. It's it's someone's brother. Whose brother? Uh, it's it's Judy the Hammer Dench's brother. We'll kill him anyways. You don't fuck with the hammer. Uh, but also... I mean, this is for Sam. Who's who's, who's that? Laura San Giacomo? I mean... You know, 90s kids. 90s kids remember. Uh, they're not ready. Or Judy the Hammer Dench. <laughs> Just, this is Judy the Hammer Dench. She's our builder. Uh, I mean... I don't. I don't think I need to tell you who Laura San Giacomo is. Um, she's star of the '90s sitcom "Just Shoot Me" and uh, the movie "Quigley Down Under," and uh, all all around uh, '90s beauty. Kind of funny, I guess. Uh, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> That's not misogynist. It's just some people are, are, are notable for their attractiveness. Not necessarily all of them are women either. Uh, you're going on Google. You go on Google. She's a, she was a, a, a middling attractive low-level star in the 90s who had a television show and a few movies. She's still alive. So um, when I searched her up, I noticed that uh, she might have a YouTube channel, which is an interesting choice. But I guess you got to stay relevant somehow. Oh. How did this person get killed? Pods arrive. Oh, it's our it's our promised goods. Too bad this isn't like a resurrection thing. Uh, hello, bad guys. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna shoot you. I know you're related to to Judy the Hammer Dench. Nice. Oh, and he's down. Now Judy the Hammer Dench is gonna be sad. My brother Blue died. Uh, you're my boy, Blue. All right. Uh, so, Polly Girl, use this skill trainer. Polly Girl, use the skill trainer. Don't do whatever the fuck you want. Do the thing I told you to do. No, I'm going to walk away. I'm walking away. And then haul this medicine.
All right, so now Polygirl is even better at crafting. It's still, I think it made it an eight. That's not even that good. It's not even that good. An employable professional. So you've you've gone on Google, King Horse. What's your verdict on Laura San Giacomo? Um, you know, I what have I been watching? I'm watching this show on um, uh, Amazon from several years ago called Fearless. It's like a six part series. Uh, there's a woman on there named Karima McAdams who's like a minor character. Boy, is she a beauty. Uh, the, the, she's not even like important to this show, <laughs> this show. Just a random character. She, I guess she's of tertiary importance. And then Helen McRory. It's a pretty good show. I'm surprised how, how good it is. It's only six episodes long, which is like the normal length of a single English TV show season. And, it, and obviously it's not coming back because it's been off the air for four years. But this is all right. It's a good mystery show. In the end, it's all the Americans' fault. That's the mystery. How, how did they not know it was all the Americans' fault all along? <laughs> it's usually it's usually all the Americans' fault. Let's get rid of this body. Uh, the hammer has gotten food poisoning again. Good. Excellent. Polygirl's making uh, trench coats. Dusters. It looks like we don't need any more, though. So uh, make sure there's no more. Yeah, okay. Finish that one. Moving on, brick time. Need some more bricks, Polygirl. So if you could go ahead and take care of that. That'd be great, because we need bricks to finish our walls. See, uh, there we go. Back in the process. In the process. Uh, I'm resting and doing nothing. It was definitely me. Yeah, I mean, it's usually your fault. Use a chicken farm. I don't think we could use a chicken farm. I don't think we need fucking chickens. Because the only thing you need animals for in this game is immediately killing them and not leaving them alive long enough to break your heart. Because that's all they ever do is break your heart. You start to be like, oh, this is my favorite chicken. I love this one. And then it dies. Everything you love just dies. Just dies. That's, that's, that's the game of RimWorld. Don't love anyone. Certainly not Sam Samuel Sam Adams, head of Acme, Brew Pub, Beer Garden, and Event Space, who's buried up here after he was shot in the brain. Uh, you know, from a distance. And not like the Bette Midler version of from a distance either, just like from a distance. Uh, at range. He wasn't... He wasn't that far away either by a man by a man who had an arrow in his heart and another arrow in his liver uh you know he was shot in the head how, how does someone how does someone uh manage to fire off a, an accurate round with like an arrow here and an arrow down here that's some bullshit some bullshit. Those are debilitating arrows. Uh, Roman Emperor Honorus had a chicken named Rome. Hmm. Honorus is what? The 4th century? That's how I remember it. Um, a chicken named Rome. To what end? Rome laid an egg? Uh, let's kill and cook Rome. And eat it for dinner? Yeah. Rome is healthy. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think that's a very good name for a chicken. Uh, now, if he had named it Milan, that that's a joke King Horse will get, but you know, <laughs> it's it's a little obscure. I'll, I'll admit it. Uh, all right, so we're building the roofs. It's 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 not going to be too cold this winter, is it? It's already fucking freezing. <laughs> Oh, I didn't notice we finished some fucking beer. Uh, oh, amazing. Um, electricity. Look, there's beer. There's four bottles of beer. All right, uh, this has got to be close to deteriorating. So let's let's turn the um, the wart back on now that it's no longer too hot in here to keep beer su su successful. 
so we don't want that. He was emperor for a long time and didn't do one useful thing his whole reign. He did execute his best general twice. The same guy, twice. Holy shit. No one wants to be executed twice. <laughs> uh, let's build a fire in here. Uh, man, getting executed twice, that is a bad day. Or days, as it were. Uh, we're going to need more metal. Because everybody needs more metal in their life. Uh, one day we'll get this brew pub up and running. We'll sell all those. All those beers are gone already. We've been drinking all the beers. I installed a mod that uh, prevents beer from being really bad for you. In this game, one of the things is that, about this game is like all vices are just like absolute fucking shit shows. Uh, drinking three beers a day in real life, maybe it's a bit too much, but unlikely to have long-term adverse effects. Even if you drink three beers a day from 21 until death. Drinking three beers a day in this game, one year is enough to get cirrhosis and die. Just, you're, just, you're gonna die. Uh... Honoris was lucky enough to have two generals serving him. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a late emperor, right? Um, so I don't really know him very well. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, um, he's in the 4th and 5th century. He did reign a long time, you're right. That's that's a long time. It's almost um almost thirty years for a Roman emperor is a long time. Oh so yeah, he was Stilico is one of his uh, uh, generals. I know Stilico. It's hard not to know Stilico if you know anything about later Roman history, right? Stilicio. Uh, oh, did he become emperor at a, as a child? Yeah, he had to consulate at age two. Uh, so, eh, much of his reign, he would have been a, a little babby. Age of 10. All right, anyways, let's not focus on uh, Stilicio, because we need to talk more about Laura San Giacomo. <laughs> and Dingo's eating babies. All right, it's getting freezing already. That's That's never good. Let's get rid of this torch and replace it with a fire as well. Any, any time today. God, they're bad with fires in this game, aren't they? Anything that like is like a necessary factor to um, keeping people healthy or or warm, they're like they don't ever prioritize it. No matter what you tell them to do, bam, fucking finally. Speaking of that, uh, how did that malaria work out for a door woman? It's, it's totally gone, so. Um, people, all the crops are dying, but it is a cold snap, so it happens. Uh, temps not really improving in here. 15 is better than nothing, I guess. Uh, I mean, with all these doors to the beer garden, it's going to be difficult to keep it warm here. Now it's down to 9C. That's not great, is it? We're going to need some more fires. Where people are going to freak out, because God knows, 9C, ooh, it's fucking cold. Whatever. Uh, Stilicio was cool. Half Vandal. Yeah, wasn't he raised at, like, um, uh, uh, the court of Attila the Hunt or something like that? I can't remember. Uh, Origins. I might be confusing that with a different general. No. No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, history is fascinating, right? And the Roman Empire has so much, uh, so many characters and so many interesting people in it. So we're, we're running a brewery and a brew pub and a beer garden and an event space. But uh, yeah, things are kind of mixed so far. Uh, are we getting acceptable temperatures in here yet? Hmm. All right, we're gonna start. Um, let's tear down this wall and replace it with granite. 
and then use the wood to warm ourselves. Come on, guys. Make progress. Just come on. You're killing me, Smalls. Thank you. That sort of helped. Smalls? Smalls, you're killing me. Uh, yeah, okay. So temps are, you know, acceptable now. Now it's like, oh, it's too hot in here. Take my trench coat off. You can leave your cowboy hat on and a jaunty ankle. Take your trench coat off and then wearing only tribal wear with your... Because that's what tribal wear does, right? That's what tribal wear is for. It's so you can tell. Because otherwise the tribals are just dirty and mangy anyways, right? So the reason they wear tribal wear is so people can at a glance know if it's something that needs fucking or not. That's science. Don't argue. It's science. I didn't make the rules. Science made the rules. <laughs> uh, right. Making progress. Um, I was talking to my wife today how I'll never get banned from Twitch because you actually have to have viewers to get banned from Twitch. Right? Like, you got to have a lot of viewers. Like, some, you have to offend someone enough that they'll report you. Uh, and then Twitch actually has to review your your uh, file and then or review the recording and and then ban you or not so it just I'll, I'll never get banned from twitch now if i start saying horrible horrible things and there's like three or four reports maybe maybe but you know i say mildly misogynist things from time to time otherwise you know it's not like i'm making fun of dingoes eating babies or anything who would do that what kind of cruel person would do that not me. So if you're wondering about this bedroom, why it's so awful, it's just a hallway that we've repurposed temporarily, temporarily, quote unquote. Oh yeah, don't, don't do that one. Uh, look at, look at that progress we're making with walls made from stone. Temps in here are now fucking frigid. 19c that's like you know oh that's the problem with the celsius uh right it's, uh, it's just no good at telling you how how uncomfortable you are um all right these this as soon as you guys finish this i'll do some initial flooring oh we should do this bit too we're gonna do some marble floors and then i can get rid of some of this fucking planning because like the very colorful planning doesn't have to be here if I know what's already there. We'll need that wall as well. So we'll leave the wood floor in there for now. I guess we're gonna need a vent into here as well. Oh, this room is, this this hallway will, won't actually be closed off in the future. So let, let's put a vent in there anyways, just to make sure that room doesn't get too cold. Uh, it, we'll tear it out later. We'll tear it out later. It's temporary. Uh, marble tile. Oh, they're not done. Let's finish the wall. We'll finish the wall. Mm. So this IPA has, has not really grown on me, but it, it's good. I appreciate it. It's uh, Cheater Hops New England India Pale Ale with Citra Mosaic and Simico Hops. Uh... A year ago, I would have not drank an IPA like this. I just didn't really like them, but they really have grown on me over time. Um, it's no sour ale, but it has its place in the world. So I made I made pizza yesterday, fresh from scratch pizza. Uh, I used the bread maker. You know how I love talking about my bread maker. I used the bread maker to uh, make the dough. So that lowered the labor down a bit. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of, it's a, it's a pain in the ass to make dough. Um, but in the bread maker, it's just, you know, you just put it in there and press the button and walk away. Uh, then it was, um, red sauce. I had made marinara sauce from scratch the night before for pasta. So I had leftover red sauce, pretty standard marinara, which I used for pizza sauce, shredded mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, and then split in half. It was on a, on a, on a, 
22 inch half sheet. Um, and uh, let's see, my wife's half was uh, cheese, of course, uh, olives, Anaheim peppers, sliced up real small, and feta cheese. My half was the same, except with the addition of pepperoni. It was fantastic. Best best pizza 2021. 20, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It wasn't perfect or anything. Afterwards, we walked over to the local Dairy Queen, <laughs> which is uh, about half a mile away, uh, and then got too much ice cream and this beer, which is at a brewery down the street from the Dairy Queen. Uh, man, blizzards from Dairy Queen, right, are the most, like, dull thing ever. It's like, oh, look, an occasional chunk of a cookie or something and really thick, plain vanilla ice cream. But I'm not even sure the ice cream tastes vanilla. It just tastes kind of white. It tastes white, which isn't to say, like, offensively about race, but it just tastes plain. Like, it doesn't, it barely even tastes of milk or, or cold, tastes of cold. Um, it's just not very good. Uh, I'd much rather have chocolate. My wife got mint chocolate, but I don't like I don't like mint chocolate. She got mint chocolate Oreo. But um, you know, Dairy Queen doesn't actually sell mint chocolate ice cream. They put mint chocolate syrup into vanilla ice cream and mix it on the spot. And that's how you know the ice cream's not vanilla in the first place, because it's 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 being mixed with other flavors which means it can't have a it can't have its own flavor so when you order ice cream from dairy queen it's actually just plain like plain yogurt like it's it's not flavored it's not worth it it's not worth it i does does not recommend one star on TripAdvisor. google google review i did not like this uh, staff was rude. No, the staff was not rude. It's weird. It, it, is this true everywhere? Are Dairy Queens only staffed by like 16 year old girls? Is that like a law or something? Like, is that like a corporate guideline? Um, because that seems to be the case, uh, at the Dairy Queens I've been to in my lifetime. They're only staffed by high school girls, which is weird. I'm not noting that from like a perverse sexual angle. Uh, I, it feels exploitative. <laughs> feels a little strange. Uh, not the good kind of exploitative either. Not the good kind. Okay, we're getting some marble floors. We're making progress on the brew pub. Maybe next summer, next spring, we'll be able to open the guests. Probably not, because we don't have any guest rooms yet. Hospitality for a rancher. Uh, 21 days hoster at Acme Brew Pub Beer Garden and Event Space. That is a long time. Uh, we can get an infant. What is this? Holy shit. Whoa. Wow, that is highly valuable. Oh, man. We don't. All right. Here's where we're going to scramble for this, right? We got a couple days. Uh, we'll do that, right? And then uh, we'll do we'll do this as well. Uh, wow, man, I've never seen a reward that good. That must have been sorted out in a recent update or something. All right, we gotta we gotta get this open. Knock that down. Uh, we'll temp up this with like that. Come on, hammer. We're counting on you. This, that's totally, what a reward. What a fucking reward. An infinite chem reactor that produces fuel. We'll worry about correcting all these errors we're making later. Where are we going to put it? We're gonna put it in here. Cause I, I don't, I, I bet you can't tear it down as well. I bet you can't tear it down. Yeah, uh, we'll build a campfire right there. 
we're out of we're out of granite. Polly, instead of meditating in darkness by yourself, could you maybe um could you maybe not do that? Could you maybe make some bricks, Polly? Uh, Cause we could use them. We only got a couple more days, Polly. Uh, we got two point two days, Polly. Come on, we're counting on you. Come on, guys. Everybody needs to pull together here. What do you? Don't, don't do that. Do the thing that stops the thing from the thing. Don't do the other thing. Do this thing. No, 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 no. Get back to work. GBTW, you son of a bitch. That said, I'm going to regret opening that up. It's now plummeting cold now. <laughs> Straight down. All in one. Um, here. Polly, close this. Maybe they won't freeze to death overnight. Wow, what a disaster. Hmm. I have never had a reward this tempting. 21 days is a long time, though. Can you fucking mine this next, guys? Can we can we get this job done? Hey, beer. I'm sure our guests will enjoy beer. Everybody enjoys beer, except for people who don't like beer. And those people are suspicious. Okay, no, Hammer, this. Come on. Come on, Hammer. Come on, we're counting on you, Hammer. Sledgehammer. All right. Um, we need a, a marble double bed. A marble end table. A marble dresser. And why don't you build a torch in there for now as well? Roof! Roof! Roof this place, goddammit! Uh, well, I mean, this has forced us to get a guest room ready real quick. Uh, it, it, here's, here's something very unrealistic about this game. In real life, if you rented a room with a rough walk, rock wall like this, people would be like, ooh, expose the brick. Now they'd be like, ooh, rough rock wall. In game, it's just like, ew, that's disgusting. It's true. 100% accurate statement. So we're out of hops, uh, but the good news is there's some extra wart. Are we going to finish that before it spoils? Yes. We might be able to get some of that in there. All right, we're getting ready here to accept our guest. Uh, so let's, let's take it for this chem reactor. The pod has arrived. Bell has arrived. And then we'll assign this bed to Bell. Uh, it's not done. Um, come on, Hammer. Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. Bell, set owner, Bell. Bell, you've got a lovely room that's almost done. I swear. And then we'll open up this back wall and finish it off too. So, she won't do any work. Can we dictate her schedule? We can. Incapable of all work. 21 days. You know, she's got a nice room. So surely everything will be fine. She won't freak out and ruin the quest or anything. Oh yeah, uh, where did, where did that infinite camera character go? Where is it? Is it in here? I don't see it. I also, maybe I get it at the end? Yes. 
Uh, I should get it at the end. That would make sense. Otherwise, I could just like accept it and then kill her or something. All right. Which I, we're not doing that, obviously. I, I, I never thought about it. All right. Now we're, we're finishing off Belle's room, so she'll be happy while she's here. Uh, well, there's a raid. The Goroton Kinship. Okay. It's, uh, it's two softies. But you never know. Somebody might get stabbed in the brain, just like Sam. Just like Sam. Rip Sam. Rip Sam. Oh, uh, hanging out by the dead body, not pleasing them. Hello? No, no, Belle. No, 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 no. You're going to get your fellow fucking killed. Good, good. I'll get her. Oh, that doesn't need to be there, by the way. One down. Where's the other one? They ran away. It's fine. It's fine. Undraft. What are you doing, Belle? Hanging out in the in the prison room? hanging out it's no 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 big deal just hanging out we put the corpses in the river so they get eaten by the piranhas I mean Bella is a pretty nice room um, I, I feel like we should de-plan some of this like this room is done we don't need to see the, the hex planning anymore uh, this this room is mostly done too. It's a little bit easier to look at without all the planning stuff, right? Uh, all that can go. Alright. Uh, marble floors. Could use some floors in the kitchen. That might help with the sanitation problems we've been having. Just saying. If maybe we didn't cook everything on dirt. So you all right? Uh, disturbed sleep, minor pain, and hungry. Okay. Are we gonna be able to make it through the winter? Not with this amount of food, we're not. That's not good. We need to start getting hunting. I got a number. How about them apples? Uh, alpaca. How about them alpacas? That was a reference to Goodwill Hunting. In case you were wondering. I mean, it wasn't like a funny reference, but it was a reference. I got a number. How about them apples? Uh, did we get any beer? Yeah, we got 93 beers. The brew pub is in operation, ladies and gentlemen. Brew pub, beer garden, and event space. I'm looking forward to the first wedding. It'll probably be staff members, though. But hey, they have to pay rent, too. How cold is this room? Not cold enough. I'm gonna put, um, actually, before we do that, let's deconstruct that. We wanna put an air vent into this room so we can use outside air to cool it for the winter. Bring the temp down in there a little bit. To preserve the food longer and stuff because it, it's too warm in there anybody got a too busy doing floors to do useful things oh come on priority people come on people i hate being called people okay that's what that's what we're doing open it up and use it as an exit of course obviously duh what else would we do time to go to sleep all done. All the, all the stuff in here is now exposed to the outside. Don't need to keep that closed in or anything. It's not like a priority to preserve our, our goods and our property. No one thinks of that. Of course you have to micromanage that. What the? <laughs> I'm not bitter. Don't call me bitter. Pizza, pizza, pizza. No, wait. This is bitter. Oh my god. This is bitter. It is bitter. All right, did we get more wort in here? Yes. And it is what temperature in here? 17, 15, little, little, little cold. Uh, 16 in the bedrooms. Bell's room is only 15. It's not great. Could be warmer. Could be warmer. 
Uh, this room is, yeah, it's now a freezer. That's good. Can you burn a torch in the freezer? I think you can. You can. Uh, no, no, come on. Why do we even get that quest now? It's not useful. It's not useful. Alright, um, so we've got more stone, so let's granite wall this piece, except for that. Except for the vent that we're currently using. That won't be there in the future. It won't be there in the future. We'll vent into the hallway, which sounds crazy, but the hallway will be so big that the heat from the air conditioners won't make a difference. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Last words, right? Famous last words. It'll be fine. Dead. Uh, I get, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting close to wrapping it up. Um, uh, about ten minutes. I've been going about two and a half hours or so. It's about four anyway, so about ten minutes. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining me today, though. Uh, I always appreciate it when people stop in. I was gonna play Open TTD today, and I watched several videos, meaning I half watched like two videos about how signals work. Uh, but I can't be fucking asked. I really, it's just like, meh. is that how they work? Uh, and then, you know what? The videos I watched weren't very good. Uh, like they, they didn't convey much information. I didn't come out of them saying, oh, now I understand signals. Uh, I'm not putting that on the YouTubers. I'm not going to out them or anything. It's, it's just as likely that I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, but I didn't learn much. Oh god, a mad rat. Everybody, group up. Mad rat? You're doomed. We're going to get you, mad rat. So I didn't learn that much from the open TTT videos. Open, open TTT. Open TTD videos. Um, I should probably watch more. That said, uh, it, thinking about open TTD right now, I think, well, I'll just make a bunch of buses and shit and some passenger ferries. Um, but I know that, like, to really get the meat of the game going, you need to, like, deliver things on trains. Um, uh, which is fine. I'll figure it out. Maybe. Maybe. I'll watch another video about signals. Because I, I want to play TTD on stream. Uh, because I just don't think that many people do it. Also, I think the game's pretty entertaining, for what it's worth. Just building buses is fun. Uh, you know, that's like a good time. Building bus stations. Having buses go around. Everybody loves buses. Except people who are anti transport mass transit. Uh, those people, but you know, come on. Come on. How's Bell doing? Darkness, minor pain, darkness. It's, uh, darkness. What the fuck are you talking about? Minor pain. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's her old wounds. All right. How are we doing on um, hunting? We're gonna need to keep hunting up because we don't have enough food to make it through the winter. We're gonna eat hair, rat, squirrel pie. Hair, rat, squirrel, raccoon pie. That sounds all right, right? It's like a mincemeat pie made of various animals. I would probably eat it. You know, the best meatloafs are the meatloafs that are beef and, and like Italian sausage or ground turkey, ground beef, ground pork. Just like the best pies, meat pies, are made of multiple animals. That's science. I don't even need a PhD to know that. I don't even need a, 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 a pretty huge dick. No, no, no. You cannot go to sleep while the place is exposed to the cold. I fucking hate you people. I hate you people. Tear down a wall. Tear down a wall and then go to bed while it freezes inside. Not a problem. How, how's Belle doing in there? She's all right. It's a little chilly. But not enough to bar, 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 bother her. 
Not enough to bother her. It's very cold outside. Holy shit. Um, Alright, um, Sam's dead. Sam actually had the title as well. So I guess, Polly girl, you're in, in charge now. Go talk to Josh. Ugh, your name is Josh? Ugh. Right, we're selling our excess skins. Dog leather, plain leather. Um, camel hide, ambrosia. Uh, a cloth duster. What have you got? You've got lots of stuff. Look at this. Uh, we'll have all your components. And then we'll also sell you all this beer. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Components super valuable. Where are they? Are you already carrying them, Polly Girl? Yeah, you already picked them up. That's highly efficient and suspect. Um, also, I thought we had more. Uh, are we keeping the animal killing up? Yeah, we need. Oh, there's some animals we've over overlooked here. Continue to call kill as many small defenseless animals as possible. Uh, we can then add uh, an event there as well. Oh, we're we're kind of running low on wood. It's so cold. Uh, cut down these trees as well. Right. So, uh, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Typically from 4 p.m. to no, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time. I usually start early. I don't usually go late. Uh, I'll be back next week. There's a slight chance that one day my schedule will be off. Like a Tuesday or Monday stream might be start late or start early or something. But otherwise, I should be here all, all four days next week uh, without much um, uh, disruption. Uh, that's really all I gotta say for now. Um, thanks, King Horus, for stopping by as usual. Uh, I, 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 I wager that Yellow Swagons 420 is silently sitting in the background. Uh, thanks, spammers who tried to uh, sell me subscriptions. I always appreciate when I get those extra, uh, those extra views from them. That really helps. And uh, thanks anybody else for joining me. I always appreciate it. It's, it's always great to have people come by. I suspect in the near future that I will have to change my streaming schedule because of some personal stuff that's going on. But I will probably still stream, but it'll probably be at a reduced uh, a reduced quantity uh, because of life events, as it were. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to uh, still keep a consistent schedule. I'll, more about that uh, next week. Uh, thanks again for joining me, and have a good one.